Have you seen Captain America the Winter Soldier yet? Because, man, the captain does some awesome stuff with his shield in that movie. Like he takes out a jet plane by just throwing his shield at it? What? So how does that shield work anyway? Well, to answer that question, we have brought in BrainStuff's co-writer and in-house expert on Captain America, Christian Sager. Hello, Benjamin. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, so thanks for coming. So Christian, is it true that this is a real story that you wrote a 250 page thesis about Captain America when you were in grad school? Well, yeah, but Captain America was more of a text that I analyzed mm -hmm. to define the meaning of the word evil. Mm -hmm. Totally, great, whatever. So let's start with what we know about the shield. It's a metal mm -hmm. disc that's approximately two and a half feet. Or... Yeah, that's 0.76 meters. Oh, yeah. thank you. 0.76 meters in diameter and it weighs 12 pounds. That's what the official Marvel database says, yes. But physics professor Rhett Elaine actually did the math in a recent blog post at Wired and figured out that the shield would more likely weigh 43.9 pounds. Well, yeah, but the shield is made of a unique alloy combining vibranium, uh, right, iron, right, yep. and a third unknown component. This is true. Well, in the comics anyway, right? So mm -hmm. it's not as if Elaine actually knows the density of what the shield's made of. Actually, yeah, he does. He uh, figured it out. It's uh, between 8,767 and 4,383 kilograms per cubic meter. Oh. That's uh, somewhere between the density of iron and titanium. Also, vibranium's a fictional metal, Ben. You know that, right? It's not real. Okay, simmer down. I think what you mean is that it's unprecedented. You see, Christian, during World War II, Dr. Myron McLean was attempting to replicate the material that Hercules' golden mace is made from by fusing vibranium with an experimental iron alloy. You know this. Some of the comics say it's a steel alloy, but no one actually knows because McLean fell asleep when an unknown catalyst was introduced to the process. Well, you know, the YouTube channel Movie Clips trailers actually did the math on this, and they figured out that the shield is worth a little over $54 million. Whoa, okay, yeah, yeah, but let's admit they're using movie logic, Christian. Trust me, this thing is priceless. Instead of using movie logic or comic book logic, Let's try to figure out how this thing was forged anyway. Metallurgy is a pretty complicated process. You can't just fall asleep in the middle of it. The forging temperature alone depends on the material's carbon content, alloy composition, maximum plasticity, and the amount of reduction required. And did McLean heat it by induction or by continuous fuel-fired furnaces? You'd think with a material as unique as this shield, he'd have to carefully control the heating process. Okay, okay. And since Cap's shield is indestructible, it'd have to have a very narrow forging temperature, meaning it could only be forged for a short time after heating, right? Right, right, that's exactly what I'm saying. So how could McLean have fallen asleep during the process then, Ben? There's so many metallurgical factors at play. Crystal structure, chemical composition, grain size. The only way he could diminish their influence is by adding alloying elements, possibly compounds, that easily dissolve within the metal. Now that would improve the forgeability of the shield's mystery metal. Okay, so whatever that unknown factor was that right. was introduced while McLean was asleep improved the metal's forgeability. Yeah, sure, I, I guess. Okay, so, all right, let's get to the meat of it. What do you think it was? Was it Uru? Was it ruby quartz or like, uh, what are they, Terrigen crystals, like the Inhumans use unstable molecules? Adamantium. Uh, well, there are all types of alloys we could consider, Ben, in reality. But I think it's more likely that Captain America's shield was forged like a super alloy. Okay, that's an interesting theory, but aren't super alloys still really difficult to forge because of that narrow temperature range? Yes. Okay, one last thing. They're crazy expensive, right? Like 10 times the price of carbon steel. Yep, that sounds like Captain America's shield to me. Yeah, but, okay, yeah, but, all right, here's the thing. And that doesn't explain the shield's ability to absorb kinetic energy, which supposedly comes from the vibranium alloy, right? And usually materials absorb kinetic energy through other mechanisms like plastic or elastic deformation or dynamic fluid flow. But Captain America's shield doesn't seem to be an elastomeric material at all. And it's not organic like polyurethane. Well, Ben, if we're really gonna get pedantic about it, in the movies, the shield seems to actually reflect vibration rather than absorb it. Mm. Remember that time 
time Thor hit Cap's shield with his hammer and was all like, boom, and there's this shockwave that just flattens the entire forest and they're fighting in it. Yes, that part was awesome. Yes. Okay, so I see what you're saying. Maybe the shield reached its absorption limit because the impact from the hammer was so powerful. Y yeah, that's interesting. I'll consider it for my research, but how about how aerodynamic it is? Ooh. If it really weighed 43.9 pounds, that would be really difficult to throw. Even for a guy in peak physical condition like Captain America, he just chucks that thing around like he's playing Ultimate Frisbee. He throws it around, bouncing it off of objects and people, and it ricochets right back to him. Like we're saying, they're made for each other. Yep. Cap's in perfect shape, and I'm secure in saying that. Uh, so he has the strength and dexterity, and then the right. shield is flawlessly balanced, plus yes. the vibranium alloys, kinetic absorption, lets it rebound without using any velocity whatsoever. That sounds made up, Ben. I made up, I, I probably, I made up some of that. But how about we put it to the audience, okay? What do you guys think? Why is Captain America's shield so aerodynamic? Yeah, come at us, nerds. You can let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you'll get more brain stuff goodness.